Kenya marked 60 years of self-governance. Many Kenyans had little reason to smile as the high cost of living persists. The high inflation rates coupled with the drastic increase in food prices have left many Kenyans feeling the burden. As Miriam Nyambura now reports, President William Ruto acknowledged the concerns of many Kenyans, pointing out that he is having sleepless nights, pondering his next course of action. <laughs> Temboa, Nakuru West, an informal settlement. Here we find residents going about their day-to-day -day activities. Most of the businesses are open, despite the fact that it's a public holiday, Madaraka Day. 46-year-old Gladys Nyanchama, a vegetable vendor, is among a section of Kenyans who are working today to fend for their families. The mother of five admits that Madaraka Day celebrations have lost meaning and the pressure of meeting her end of the deal as a parent keeps her on the move. Kitambo, kulingana na vile gharama hii kukua juu sana, kukua at least upate kitu, ukiguza mfuko, napata kuna kitu. Lakini saa hii, ukistukia kuna kitu, naamuka hata madaraka ukumbuka inakuwaga, naamuka uchipangi. We accompany Gladys to her workstation, Sokomjinga Market in Kaptembwa, where she tells us how the increased cost of food prices has affected her and her five children who depend on her. Na wazoto wa tatu, kwa memalisa yuni, lakini hakuna kazi. Pesa ni natoa hapa, kiyo na wafunsa na ayo, lakini saa hii, ni ngumu. Hata kupata yenye uta lipa school fees upati. The 46-year-old says that for the 25 years she has operated as a vegetable vendor in Nakuru, she has not experienced such a difficult financial period. Food prices have soared and her expenditure has gone up threefold, forcing her to have one meal a day. Kwa nyumba unasukari, sayi sukari ni miambiri, ufike mtoto, chai yata kunywa peke yake. Anataka kitu ya kukunywa, patoto wate wako hapa ni watano, kama ni mikate utanuwa mbiri. At this market, we find another trader, Eunice Auma, who sells omena. In 2021, Eunice says she purchased a 50 kg bag of omena at 8,000 shillings, which got her a profit of 5,000 shillings. Today, the price has doubled and her profit margin has narrowed. Life is slowly but surely becoming unbearable. Pale peke yake kununua ni 14,000. Tuseme kwa siku naweza tumia 500. Gharama ya maisha ikiwa mimi mwenyewe niko peke yangu hivi bado inanilemea. Kilometers apart in the capital Nairobi, Bob Kangwana, a water vendor in South B area, rents out this cart to transport water to his clients. He says that little he earns from the water business is not enough to support his family and at the same time pay for the rented cart. <laughs> Ya maji, na mimi nikiuza na uza shilingi 20, unaona? Mtu wa maji anakula 200, mimi nakula 200. Sasa hizi unga bei rais ni shilingi 220. Ukifika kwa nyumba na hiyo 200 unashindwa utajipanga aje na tuko na watoto, tuko na manyumba tunalipa, tuko na rent na kila kitu. President William Ruto in his first Madaraka Day celebration speech admitted that the issue of the high cost of living has become a key concern. The cost of living is keeping all leaders including myself awake. And this is precisely as it should be. With commodity prices rising and the cost of fuel on an upward trajectory, and with inflation also high, there's little to show for government's efforts to lower the cost of living. As Kenya celebrates 60 years of self-governance, many Kenyans say there's need to have an honest conversation on the high cost of living, which has been a persistent issue as many households struggle to make ends meet. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV, in Kaptembwa, Nakuru West.